Linking into the most commonly asked question is, you know, what do you do with the mice that are already living in the property? Uh, but of course, these, these mice don't take up residence in the property, typically. I mean, it does happen, but you need certain factors for it to happen. But in the vast majority of situations, these are nocturnal species and they live in cavities. So they'll live within the building fabric, wall cavities, floor cavities, ceilings, attics, um, because they're actually very sensitive to, to daylight light conditions. And then they're nocturnal species, so at night they'll emerge into your living area via pipe holes, wall defects, anything uh, that permits them to, to um, egress from a cavity. And then they'll forage for food and then they'll retreat to their cavities um, uh, as soon as daylight hours um, appear. So if you can stop them coming into your living area, you effectively shut them off from their food supply. It's the food supply that, that um, dictates the size of any given mouse population that affects a property. And so if you, simple population dynamics, you reduce the food, you reduce, reduce the population. But what, what's particularly beneficial is you no longer have to, have to encounter mice, mice droppings, and they won't contaminate foods and foodstuffs.